How y'all doing? Good morning and welcome back to my wannabe baby YouTube channel. Guys, I know it's been a while, but like, what do we expect? What do we expect? I've never been consistent. You can't expect that from me. You can't. You can't. But I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I promise. The truth is I've actually filmed three YouTube videos since my last one, but I just didn't like them. Whenever I went around to editing them, I was just like, no. And that is on imposter syndrome. I don't know, I've been watching YouTube since it was that little brown TV. And I've always grown up pretending to film YouTube videos in my mirror to my fake audience every time I get ready. But when it comes to actually filming one, that is when the self-doubt kicks in. I had a word with myself and I said, no, you've always wanted to do this, you have. So pick up that camera and talk, even if you have nothing to talk about, because that is the truth. I have nothing to talk about because I don't do anything. I feel sorry for you guys because my, all my content on TikTok, on Instagram, it will all be the same because I don't do anything extraordinary. That's the truth. I've had a few comments asking me to upload on YouTube daily. Do you know how scary that is? Because I am not interesting. I don't do anything interesting. In fact, I have no hobbies. What is a hobby? But then last night at 2 a.m. I had an epiphany that that is just life. Not everyone is doing extraordinary, crazy things every single day. So then maybe the content that I make isn't actually boring. So here I am today and you're gonna come with me on my day. Oh my God, did that rhyme? Slow. The only plans I have for today is to go to the gym and work a normal day. And guys, we're gonna leave the house today. If I'm being honest, I haven't actually left the house all week. Not even for a single walk. It is, fuck, it's Friday. It's Friday and I haven't left. I'm gonna be completely honest, I do this a lot. I don't think I will ever have a routine in my life, ever. Why did I pick this up not to have a drink? But no, I genuinely don't think I will ever have a routine in my life. I just don't think I am built for it. I am a take every day as it goes kind of gal, but at the same time, it ends me up in these situations where it's Friday and I physically haven't opened my apartment door. But we're gonna leave today. We're gonna leave today. So first things first, we're gonna go to the gym. I'm actually gonna bring you along. Oh my God, shut up, what? There's these little gyms in London called Solo 60. No one is there. It's this little gym where you just go to by yourself for an hour and that's it. Bliss, sounds like a dream, but they are very expensive. I go all the time, plus I am a workout class girl. Sometimes I just go there when, you know, the anxiety is a little high and I don't want to communicate with anyone. I don't want to speak to anyone. I don't want to see anyone. Wow, my face does not match my neck. We'll make it work. Also, base combo I just used. I always go in with the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. This is in shade four. And it's the YSL new like skin tint. <gasps> what the fuck? This is so good. Let's finish getting ready. Okay, let's go. for me when I got back from, my address isn't on it, from Zara home. Do you know my glasses that I make my coffees in? Yeah, well, I have broken all of them. All of them. Uh, I don't know how. Look at them, they are perfect. But yeah, Zara home, the best glasses ever. Also, I don't know who I was when I made this order, but I decided to buy wine glasses. I don't drink wine. Imagine a Diet Coke in this. And now this box is gonna join my pile of recycling that I refuse to take down because I'm just genuinely lazy, so I let it pile up for six weeks. I'm not joking. If I show you, are you gonna judge me?
You're judging me, aren't you? I just got my nails done. I got shot nails. I'm sorry I didn't bring you along. It was a very impulsive decision. I decided to find the nearest nail appointment and try and book. And there was one available, so I felt that the stars were aligning. The universe was telling me it's time to get short nails. I still don't know how to feel. You know when you first get your nails done and they're all stubby? Um, I don't want to look at them too much because the longer I look at them, the more I will want to book another appointment to get acrylics back but I'm kind of living for it kind of scared kind of crazy I mean I did film a vlog for TikTok and Instagram I mean knowing me I have probably already uploaded it and it's been weeks since I've uploaded it by the time I actually post this YouTube video but I love it it's now the evening I have just jumped in the shower to commence my evening routine. I say evening routine, I definitely don't have an evening routine. Actually, that's a lie. I've kind of built one up. That's also a lie. When I say I've built one up, I mean, I've just done the same thing for two days in a row. One thing about me is I struggle to sleep. So trying to like help myself wind down, I found over the past two days has actually helped. Maybe just a tiny weeny bit. I have got in the shower first actually, because I had to rush my nail appointment. And because my nail appointment was walking distance, of course, me, I had to leave it till the exact minute of how long it takes to walk there to leave. I built up a little sweat, okay? And we're gonna put the glasses that I just bought from Zara Home to good use. And this, this explains me to a T because everything may seem aesthetic from the outside, but forever and always be a lazy bitch. Cheers. Let's go make dinner. Oh shit. It is time for my favorite part of the day. Eating and watching whatever I find on my iPad. Because eating without watching something is something I am physically incapable of. You may be thinking, but you what I eat in a day is like, I get the clip and then I'm out. I grab my iPad, I sit down and I enjoy my food in peace. This is peace. Nobody is to interrupt this. And if they do, I don't know what I'm saying. I live alone, so nobody has interrupted me doing this, but you know what I mean. No, I'm gonna go eat this and I'll see you in a bit. The audacity for me to yawn when I know I'm gonna stay up till 3 am anyway. I'm gonna get into bed now and I'm gonna watch. I don't know what I'm gonna watch actually. I'm probably gonna scroll for three hours straight and forget my existence. But no, thank you for watching. I don't even know if I like this video. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows if I'll end up editing this and then not posting it again? I just wanna say thank you because it does actually mean the world. And I know I probably say this every video, but like I do mean it because I am trying to upload consistently. I promise. It may not look like it, but it's all in here. It's just here uh, stops me from, you know, filming and going ahead with it sometimes. And also, I'm not going to commit to one video a week because if I tell you that, then I know I won't do it. Whereas if I don't tell you that I'm going to do that, there is a higher chance that I will do it. I may see you next week, or I may not. I may see you in a month, or maybe even three. No, we're not going to make it three months. I will say that. But no, thank you so much for watching and why have I al already forgotten how to end a YouTube video? Why did I just do that? See ya!